Hey guys, Dave here. Just wanted to take a minute and go over some of the tools that I use. And uh, many of you probably already have these tools, but I got a pretty good assortment and a different tool for each use. So kind of wanted to go over that with you and maybe give you some ideas of uh, some tools that you could use. So to get started, many of you from a previous video have seen these putty knives. They're the Goldblatt Good Stainless Steel Putty Knives. You can find them in the drywall section of Lowe's and Home Depot. The thing I like about these is that they're stainless steel and they're very thin and flexible. They really get under underneath stuff because they're so thin. I took another step and I sharpened the ends of them to do an even better job of scraping what caramelization may be on the griddle to where it comes off the griddle and stays on the food. Another thing I did was they usually have sharp edges and I found that I was scratching the blackening with the sharp edges. So I just went and I rounded them off. So different sizes for different purposes, um, sharpened, rounded off on the edges so that they don't scratch. Uh, I think you'll remember from my previous video that I use this one a lot. It's good for moving a large amount of food or a large amount of grease and debris. The other one that I use the most often is this typical flat spatula. Um, again, I like really thin ones. Uh, this has got curved edges on it already and I sharpened the edges of it so that I can get under food better. I'm really more concerned with leaving the caramelization on the food and not on the griddle. So I use these the most because it's, you know, here in Florida, it gets pretty darn hot in the summertime. I was able to find some spatulas with really long handles on them. And I gotta tell you, sometimes when you wanna get this far away from a really hot griddle, it helps, it makes, makes cooking more fun and more comfortable. So I just picked these up the other day, was to have the flat edge across the front, and I rounded the corners on these as well. Uh, these are as thin as I can find them. So these kind of serve the same purpose as the putty knives, in as much as they now have a flat edge so I can move food around um, and scrape it, just like a flat side of a putty knife does, whereas the rounded edge on this one, I can't do that with. I've only got the flat side of it. Still in the spatula mode, um, I do have just a regular spatula. Again, I sharpened the, the edge of it and I rounded the corners. Uh, this is just great for flipping burgers because the grease will drip through this one and it won't drip through the other one. And then the last spatula that I use is this really big wide one. Uh, this is great for uh, omelets. It's great for fish. Any Anytime that you want to be able to get under a whole bigger piece and pick it up and work with it and again it's got the holes to let the grease come through of course i've got uh we call them a granny fork always got to have that in your arsenal tongs always got to have the tongs i like these because they've got uh, a rubber grip on them kind of insulates them i always keep two in case you know in case i can't find one uh, i do have a thermometer that i just keep on the griddle so i can check the surface temperature and i can slide it around that's in addition to my infrared thermometer, which I really use more often. The last thing that I really use is uh, your, your bacon presses. These are good for steaks or burgers or uh, vegetables, anything else that you wanna uh, press down. Um, I've got a couple of these really heavy ones and uh, four of the rectangular ones. And then a good silicone basting brush for uh, spreading butter around or basting something that you want. So, didn't want to spend a lot of time to show you a few of the tools that, that I've gathered. Uh, hopefully, you'll pick up an idea of something that, uh, that you can either use what you've got for a different purpose, or maybe you, you feel like you want to go get something like this. So, thanks for taking a minute to watch. Uh, please subscribe, like, like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you next with Dave.